Here's what climbers often get wrong about antagonist training. First, there's a general misunderstanding about which muscles we rely on for climbing. Climbers do lots of pulling, so all pushing exercises must be antagonist, right? Not really. The pecs directly assist with vertical pulling, and the triceps help with vertical and horizontal pushing. Wrist extensors are also often labeled as antagonists, but they're extremely important for improving muscle length tension relationships that allow us to pull harder. If we're working muscles that are frequently doing heavy lifting on the wall, we probably shouldn't be calling them antagonists. Second, working every antagonist we can think of is not the ultimate silver bullet for injury prevention that many people think. While I'm absolutely in favor of having a strong, balanced musculature, most of the injuries I see in my practice are not simply due to muscle imbalances. They're due to poor load management and not listening to your body. A million antagonist exercises won't save you from climbing on severely impaired tissue. So make sure you nail your programming and recovery first and foremost. And that's today's beta.